Hello everyone, welcome to my course and in this video, I will show you how to migrate your own premises database to Azure using a replication. So for that, let me go to the portal and let me create one database. Give the name replication. I am not going to change here. Here I go with the standard service tier. Review and create. So here I am going to perform the replication between on premises database and Azure Azure SQL database. So deployment is in progress. Meanwhile, let's configure the replication. So go to the SQL server. Go to the replication and first create, create the publication. So right click new publication. Click next. Select the database adventure work LT 2017. Go with the transaction replication. Click next. Select the tables. So right now here you can see the build version have no primary key. That's why you can't select it. So I am going to select all the tables. Click next. Click next. Create a snapshot immediately. Create a snapshot immediately. Click next. Snapshot agent. Click OK, click Next, create the publication, Next, give the name and finish. Click Close. So now the publication created. Okay. Now let's configure the subscriber. Now the subscriber here, my subscriber is Azure SQL database. So let's quickly check. Yes, my deployment is completed. Copy the server name, right click and new subscription. Click next, click next next here you need to add subscriber and our subscriber is azure sql database so add give the server name username and password click connect select the server and here select the database so my database is adventure work LT 2017 underscore replication. Click next. Here you have to give the Azure SQL database authentication. Click OK. Next. Next. Next next and finish so, i'm not going to explain how the replication work because it's similar to the on premises click close go to the monitor now let's wait So now here you can see the activity is started. Let me refresh my database folder.
yes now the data migration activity is started so let's wait till the time all the tables are populated so i think all the tables are migrated yes so so now using the replication also you can migrate your own premises database to azure now the major benefit of replication is if your application need short downtime then you can go with the replication method so first you set up the replication migrate your schema migrate your database and once everything is complete you just stop your iis and change the connection string from old server to new server so thank you very much see you in the next video